Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today I will show you how to make this simple Faraday lamp that requires no batteries, only the energy provided by your body. We need a few things in order to make our Faraday lamp, but the most important item is the magnet. We need a cylindrical magnet and we need a very powerful magnet. This is because a strong magnetic field will generate a higher voltage from our coil. Uh, in my case, I am using these two neodymium magnets. They are about one centimeter each in length, so two centimeters in total, and also two centimeters in diameter. And they are uh, the degrees N32, I think, not the most powerful, but enough to make our lamp work. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register upload your Gerber file and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. You will also need magnet wire which is just copper wire with an insulation and I am using a uh, number 32 wire but of course you can use a, a different gauge 28, 30 or even 34. So with this, we will make our coil that will generate the voltage. Four diodes are needed in order to make a bridge rectifier. This is because the coil produces alternating current and we need to convert that into DC. We need a tube where you can insert the magnet, therefore the diameter of the tube must be slightly larger than that of your magnet. This is because we need the magnet to be as close as possible to the coil in order to have a stronger magnetic field. Remember that the magnetic field decreases with the square of the distance from the magnet. And of course you need a material that does not shield the magnetic field so it must be plastic or cardboard but never use metal for this because it will not work this tube i made it by using a plastic sheet that i roll it in the form of a cylinder to fit the diameter of my magnet we need leds of course at least one you can use more than one led for uh, more illumination but of course with more LEDs the charge in your capacitor will draw more fast. I will use a capacitor to store the charge produced by the coil. The capacitor uh, works like a little battery to store the energy and I am using this one which is 4700 microfarads at 10 volts. 10 volts is enough for uh, the voltage needed by an LED and of course the higher the capacity the more time the LED will remain on. You can of course use a higher capacity or you can put uh, several capacitors in parallel but uh, you will need more space. I have made the coil as I mentioned before, it is a magnet wire number 32, around 1000 turns. And I have these two thick wires from an old computer mouse to stop the coil from falling apart. And to test it, I have connected this LED. And let me introduce the magnet. Okay, you can see how the LED 
turns on. Hmm, there's something strange here because the LED turns on in both directions of the movement and supposedly the current changes direction when the movement of the magnet also changes. Hmm, I'm not sure why this is happening. However, anyway, I will install the bridge rectifier just to make sure that we have direct current at the output of the coil. Okay, so I put some epoxy PUD at the bottom, then we insert the magnet, and at the top I will put this piece of uh, aluminum tubing from an old marker, and then we can shake it to generate the electricity from the coil. Next, the connection of the bridge rectifier made with four diodes and the capacitor. Now we only need to connect our LED at the terminals. Here's the diagram, very simple. Our coil, then the electricity flows to the bridge rectifier, four diodes, and then goes to the capacitor and the LED. You only need to check that you have the right polarity in the capacitor and the LED. Okay, now with the addition of the LED, our lamp is complete and we can shake it to turn on the LED. You can see that the LED stays on for some time because the energy is stored in the capacitor. One way to make your lamp more efficient is of course to increase the capacity. We are using a very small capacitor. Uh, one option is to use a super cap, super capacitor instead of a normal electrolytic capacitor. This one is one farad, which is hundreds of times larger than the one that we are using and our LED will stay on for a couple of minutes. And having a larger capacity, we can also add uh, two or more LEDs in order to increase the illumination of the lamp. Okay, that's all for today. Simple Faraday lamp for emergencies. Needs no batteries, only the energy from your body. Thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next video.